Hey everyone! So today I'm going to try using my new camera that I got and it's supposed to be made for YouTube. So we'll see how this works and today I'm going to do a tutorial using some Illuminance shadows from Revlon. And here's what it looks like. Here we go. You can see that. I'll open it up for you. It has a sparkly pink right here, then like a rosy orangey pink, then a matte pink, and then like a dark purple. So that's what's in it. And so let's get started. I'm going to do more of a um, school look that you could wear to school with these. So here we go. So I'm going to start off using a brush. I'm going to be using my wet dry eyeshadow brush from um, Bare Minerals. Bare Essentials, sorry. I'm going to start off with a matte color. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And this is a really light pink. So hopefully you can see it. You kind of want to get it on there thick. And FYI, these do crease. So a way that I've found to stop creasing a little bit is to put some translucent powder over it. So you might want to try that. there you go, there's pink petals. And now I'm going to take the rosy orange, rose gold color, which is right here. I'm just going to take the same brush, and I'm going to put that in the outer corner. like that so it makes it a little bit darker. Let me see. There you go. I'm gonna put a little bit more. and I'm just gonna finish with this eye. Since I think I'm gonna do another tutorial with this eye. And the next thing I'm going to do is clean off my brush. And take the extra light pink and put it in the inner corner. And this is really pretty because it goes from light, middle, and then rose goldy, and it's really pretty. You can see that in the light. See. see if I can get. There's that. And now I'm going to take some of the dark purple. Actually, I'm not going to use a dark purple in this look. I'm going to take the the rose gold color using I'm just using a flat brush if I can find it. I'm going to use this flat brush. I'm going to take the rose gold color and put it underneath. And kind of blend it out with my finger. I don't know if you saw that, so I went like and I'm going to take the light pink again, the, the sparkly light pink that we used in the inner corner. Put that in 
And there you go. So if you can see that, I don't want there to be too much light. There you go. So thanks for watching and make sure you check back for more tutorials. Bye.